Saturday, Iran state television confirmed the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps start runs and crews misses operations against Israeli targets. The operation, named to True Promise, come after the Israeli terrorist attack of April the 1st against the consular section of the Islamic Republic's embassy in the Syrian capital of Damascus. Iraq, Jordan, and Yemen announced the closure of its airspace. In this context, both Yemeni Houthis and Hezbollah in Lebanon launched drone attack toward Israel. United States news channels report that United States CENTCOM commander has left Israel. Iranian Foreign Minister said that the Tehran had given necessary warnings to United States. Amid the ongoing escalation, the Israeli Foreign Minister canceled his visits to Hungary, while United States President Joe Biden ended his break and returned to the White House. The Iranian drones are expected to reach Israel at 2 a.m. local time. Iran's supreme leader Ali Khamenei posted on his ex account a video from his speech during the Aid of Fear, where he says Israel will be punished for the attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. In Israel, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari started that they are working closely with the United States to act against Iranian actions in response to Tel Aviv criminal acts. Working in close cooperation with the United States and our partners in the region in order to act against the launches and intercept them. The Israeli army spokesman also said that Iran launched a manned aerial vehicles and the Israeli forces continue to monitor the situation from the airspace. Iran launched UAVs from its territory towards the territory of the state of Israel. We are monitoring the threat in the airspace. It is a threat that takes several hours to reach the territory of the state of Israel. Earlier, the army forces of Iran's Guardian Corps confiscated cargo ship linked to the Israeli regime in the Persian Gulf. The Iranian Command Corps landed from uh, helicopters on the deck of vessels named Mr. Aris in the Ormuz Strait. The ship, which was operating under the Portuguese flag and with a crew of at least 25 people, he is reported to be managed by an Israeli company known as Zodiac Maritime. On the other hand, the event took place in the midst of an ongoing escalation between Tehran and Tel Aviv regime in response to the Israeli attack against the Iranian consulate in Damascus, where 13 people were killed.